Salambo. Lone Sloan Salambo. I don't know what Lone Sloan Salambo is, but I know what. It's bad ish. This is a book. We're going European style today. My name is Andres Jose Salazar, your host of The Art of Comics. We're going to talk about this book, which is uh, kind of out of control, kind of crazy. Um, it's European. It's European. Produced by, uh, you know, it, it was um, rejiggered for the States here by Titan Comics, the UK company, translated in old American English. And uh, this is a trip. So let's go and talk about Gustave Flambert. Flambert? I don't know how to pronounce it. Gustave and Philippe Drillet book. Lone Sloan Salambo. Boom. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to talk about Lone Sloan Salambo, and I'm not even going to come on this and tell you I'm an authority of Droulet or this book. Because I'm not, but I'm going to show some enthusiasm and tell you this book is really great. Um, this might have been first published in Heavy and uh, Medi Herlant, in, in uh, Metal Herlant, also known as Heavy Metal. I think it was. I think it was. And um, if you don't know Droulet, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm pronouncing it Droulet because T's are usually silent in French. I could be wrong about that. This book is, it's big, it's oversized. You need to have it oversized because it is a beast and a beautiful drawing. And it's 40 bucks, but find it cheaper. You can find it cheaper and it's worth it. Uh, this guy, I know his stuff from Heavy Metal and I love Heavy Metal and so we're gonna talk about Heavy Metal. Don't you worry, people are blowing up my pager all the time. We're gonna go into Heavy Metal, big time. I'm just gonna do the whole freaking show. but. Right now, let's talk about this. Um, this guy is crazy. It is, the colors are, this is what I learned from this book. Colors, dude. There's a thing called complimentary colors. <laughs> it's amazing, okay? Um, this first thing, I don't even know what to say about this. This double page spread, it's got this like crazy detailed borders, okay? It's got this, I don't know what amazing kind of done uh, spaceship. I don't even know how he did this. It's like inked. It's like airbrushed. It's got all kinds of stuff going on. And then the framing, look at this thing. It's going to, it, it's not, you know, it's got these things here. And look at this and the colors. And it's like, are you serious? Like, I don't even understand how this works. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Yeah, this is great, great stuff. Um, the, the, the trouble with the story is it is um, an adaptation of a book, um, I believe by the same name, and it is a challenge to kind of read it because it's a trans, it's a adaptation to a novel and then it's translated into the US, in the, in, in the US, into English. And, um, you, we do have these big chunks of text at times. I read this twice Sunday, and there's still stuff I don't quite get at all. Um, and I find that's kind of a common thing for me. Maybe I'm just a little dense, but uh, I don't grab it all, but I'm just amazed by the, the freaking visuals, dude. And that's what this is about, the art of comics, the visuals today. Um, definitely we see some airbrush. We see a lot of fun. Um, just color choices the art it's it's basically uh it's the story of carthage and uh all these like mesopotamian and syrian and these kind of uh societies ancient civilizations but it's all kind of retold in this like star space opera ish type thing look at you can't even tell what i'm talking about when i say the art you've got to see can i just like will this even work Look at this, dudes. Look at the, the pencil. This is like 
you know, he's using a rapidograph uh, here. There's times when you can tell he's, he's definitely using like a crow quill. But this looks like a lot of this is rapidograph. And he's just, I could be wrong. And he, look at this, I mean, the detail. And it is, I don't know the original size. I bet they were big. They gotta be big. Um, beautiful, beautiful spreads. Um, and just, my gosh, look at it. The, the first, the first few pages is just these massive spreads of art, you know? He's mixing mediums. He's using acrylics. He's using inks. He's using airbrush. Um, it is a sight to behold. And now we're getting into more kind of the standard. We have an actual narrative. We got some sequential art going here. Um, and it does evolve and it gets better, but then we have these big, huge, monstrous vistas. Um, this is very 70s sci-fi. This is like totally heavy, early heavy metal style stuff that I really love. Um, and the art, the colors again, I can't tell you enough about the beautiful complementary colors, the green and the red here. You're gonna see it all the time, the blue and the yellow here. Um, it's just he knows how to do colors and, and art. And so this book, a little slightly incomprehensible, it's basically um, this this guy, Sloan, who, be, who turns his name to Mathos. He is a warrior of the best kind, comes down, meets this woman, this priestess, uh, princess, who is enraptured by, and kind of like um, Helen of Troy, he's going to like, uh, tear the earth asunder to get her, you know, and so there's a lot of battles. It's a lot of monstrous battles with creatures and armies and craziness and there's deceptions and betrayals and kings and everything happening and it is uh, a beast. Just just the book is just fabulous. The art, um, again, I'll just let the freaking book talk, you know, look at this stuff. Such a great story, such a great book. Um, get this book. It is really well done, and this will inspire you. You could just a master's class of colors again, and line work, and how much detail do you put in things? You know, what's the what? What do you do, and how do you do it? This guy was one of the European masters. Um, it's called Lone Sloan. Salimbo and uh, it's bad -ish. There you go. The art of comics. That's me, Andre Salazar. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys later.